Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. As the temperatures cool, and we anticipate them to cool at some point this winter, uh, protect your home or business from invading warmth-seeking bugs. Call Southeast Termite and Pest Control. You can set up quarterly, monthly appointments, or just call them in for emergency duty if you need to. They are the best in town, Southeast Termite and Pest Control. All right, back with Mark Pankratz. Mark, we talked about it earlier. We're both stat geeks. A lot of coaches now are employing analytics guys to come in and look at the numbers and see what they can decipher that might give them a, a, a leg up in terms of coaching their team and getting them by other coaches out there. L always looking for that advantage. I went through yesterday, and we can go ahead and put this up on the screen, uh, went through the Ken Pomeroy ratings, and you've seen us do this before. If you remember when Bruce Pearl was here and when Mark Pinecrest was over there coaching, uh, we had a pretty good formula for predicting how Tennessee was going to do against certain opponents. This shows you the last 11 games and these are the last 11 seasons and this shows you the same kind of stuff that we did in those years. We looked at uh, the tempo, that's the first one, adjusted tempo, the higher the, is the faster and you'll see that this Tennessee team faster than any since 2008, Pearl third, Pearl's third year here. Tennessee hasn't been playing at this speed in a long time. In terms of offensive efficiency, that's the number of points you would put up in a hundred possessions against the average team in America. Offensive efficiency got a little better yesterday, but still not great. It is uh, the second worst offensive efficiency number for Rick Barnes since 2002. So he's not used to this. And it is the worst defensive efficiency team for Rick Barnes since 2002. Uh, you want to be lower on that scale, and they are way up there high. Mark Pankratz, your thoughts on what you're seeing there, this team compared to previous volunteer teams? Well, first off, if we aren't going to win a lot of games, I'd rather lose the way we're losing, playing up tempo, than uh, some of the slow it down basketball that we've seen. It's just uh, I, I like to watch that brand of basketball. It's interesting. I think it's really hard for teams the faster you play to win come tournament time. I just think you see it here yes. in the numbers. Uh, I mean, even Donnie's team, or I'm sorry, um, Conzo Martin's team, when they were really successful, they they slowed it down. But yet they were really efficient offensively, really yep. efficient defensively. Coach Pearl's best years, um, they weren't the fastest years. Uh, they were more efficient um, on both ends of the floor. And I think with this team you're just seeing, yeah, we're going to play up tempo, but that just leads to gaping holes. One of the, the team that made the Elite Eight run was one of his slowest teams while he was here at Tennessee. That, you, you can go back through the NCAA tournament and look at champions, and you're not going to find a lot of champions that play that wild up tempo. Now, as you say, with this team, um, if you're not going to win a lot of games, at least make it exciting on the floor. I agree with you. I think that's right. But yeah, the, the tempo is a huge deal. And, you know, these numbers, you and I did a thing when they hired Donnie Tindall, and everyone was saying, now nah, we're going to get rid of that boring Conzo Martin ball and have it up tempo. And we went through and we put it up on our wipey board, it used to be over here back then, put up the numbers through his career and said, no, it's going to be slow. Turns out last year there were 351 Division I teams. Tennessee was 336th in terms of tempo. Uh, so these numbers that you're seeing, you're playing faster than you have since 2008. Uh, offensive efficiency isn't terrible. Needs to improve, but it isn't terrible. It's the defensive end. And I don't think that's telling anybody anything that they can't see with their own eyes. But by the numbers, defensively, this team has a long way to go. They do, and it starts with the roster. And I think uh, Coach Barnes is, is doing all that he can with this, with this roster. Um, but he'll get to a point where he's spitting out NBA-type big guys. That's what some of the, the blocker mover, screener type guys that he's got on his team, the rim protectors, he's always built his program around that. They've always had really good point guards. He has neither right now. Um, and so once he gets those kids in, uh, you'll see these numbers climb. And his team's typically ranked in the top 25 in terms of offensive efficiency year in and year out and, because of that. And can I want to say one thing? Fair there question. are outlayers, right? So it was in their mind right now at home thinking, well, there's, there's this team, there's that team. Yeah, there's always those type of teams. Yeah. But, but consistently, this is the way that teams are going to win. It's going to be efficient on the offensive or defensive end. All right. Thank you, Mark Pankratz. You'll be back for our overtime segment in a few minutes. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, Tennessee coaching changes on the football team. Go on back. From East Tennessee to Kentucky, no job is too small for Benedict Construction. Electrical work, heating and air installation, even carports and garages. With a reputation for excellence, rely on the custom work of Benedict Construction. <laughs> 